This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Data Tools, Lesson 8, Creating JavaScript Objects, Puzzle 9. And it looks like we're going to build an app. Create data. This app will need sample data for you to use while you're building the rest of its functionality. At the top of the starter code, three objects three objects for holding contact information are created. Yep. The first one is filled with some dummy values, and the other two are left for you to fill in. Ah. Note, the image URL properly should use a link to an actual image you upload to the app or find online. Okay. And that's what we did. So we already added our own info, and we did that back here to test some things out. So now, let's just test... All right, so let's add some info. And we just want to be careful and make sure that when we do, we do like they are here. Okay. So we want to make sure that we are using the same, uh, this dot notation or the append, pro or the append function for our properties. So right under here, I'm going to actually kind of cheat. For the first one, I'm just going to highlight it and write copy then paste all that down here and then not for contact one though this is contact two and we want contact two to have a name property a phone property a birthday property and an image property and then if we just put in some fake info friend two i don't know two 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 born in 1922 <laughs> you might be noticing a pattern so great and now let's go ahead and also do this for context three. So I'm going to right click again and do paste. Context three, 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 and three. And so again, this is going to be our object. This is the property of our object name. So contact three owns name. Name's going to be friend three, 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 three and three image url i'm gonna actually leave blank for now awesome and then it also wants us to uh make this all into an array right because we can make our objects into an array whoops i need to put a semicolon and a semicolon that's super important so let's go ahead and try that it looks like, ooh, they started it so they have contacts and they append the first uh contact object for us so now we just need to do the next few, append item, and remember for append, when appending to an array, you need the item's name for, or the array's name first, which is contacts, and then contact one, they already did, contact two is also an object, right, we just gave, uh, we just filled out its properties, and then append item contacts, comma, contact three, is another object that we just made. So now we have an array of objects. And we would want to have a council log like they asked. So let's go to variables. I'll go to blocks. Sometimes it's easier to read. And right here. So after we append all that, I'm just going to put in a council log and council log the entire array of objects, contacts, and that will log, well, the entire array of objects. Let's give it a test. Friend one, yep. Friend two, check. And friend three, awesome. So that's working so far. We have an array of our contacts. Uh, and that is going to be useful as data gets larger, as people add names to this. It is very useful to have it all in a list, uh, as opposed to single objects on their own or just a giant list of information. It, it makes it pretty problematic. So objects are great. All right, let's see what else we're going to be doing with this. Let's uh, keep going. Yeah, the dot notation was the trickiest part, I think. Yeah, let's keep going.